Hello, I'm Brent First from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm continuing on with my networking, and I'm going to show you what the network view is all about. And uh, you're gonna, we're gonna see the network view many, many times, uh, but this is just a high overview. So I'm gonna start by creating a game object, and I'm gonna create a capsule, and I'm gonna add a network view to this capsule. Now, uh, n remember what I said about uh, TCP and UDP. So uh, you'll see that this is set to reliable delta compressed. And then there's an unreliable and an off. So if you remember, I told you TCP was reliable and UDP was unreliable. However, uh, that being said, I believe Unity does it this way. They may or may not. Um, when you, you can use uh, UDP as, re as a pseudo-reliable form. Basically, uh, you would, in UDP, you would send a packet and then you would have some code that would, or you would send a set of packets and you have some code that waits and listens to make sure that the other end has received the packets. So uh, that's, that's kind of how you can do that with UDP. So it sends it down the pipeline fast and uh, it waits for the packets to send back. Now the problem with TCP and UDP in this way is that you can you can easily if you're not or at least in UDP you can easily if you're not watching out stack up on tons of packets and overload your network and make it freeze up uh, because you send too many packets down the pipe and there's too much waiting and there's uh, the wait time becomes exponential. So with that being said uh, we're gonna leave it as reliable delta compressed and then you notice there's an observed. The observed can be your own custom script, but uh, by default, and for this tutorial, we're going to use the capsules transform. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a script for my capsule just to move up. So C sharp script, I'm going to create a script. I'm going to say move capsule. And I'm going to drop this onto the capsule. And this tutorial is not about this script, so I'm just going to type it really quick. Just going to make it so that if input dot get key uh, key code dot up, uh, then transform dot position plus equals vector three dot up multiplied by time dot delta time. Uh, let's multiply that by a speed of like five, and we'll just copy this, and we'll use the down arrow. And we can just set this to uh, subtract equals. All right. So now, uh, when I press play, I should be able to press up and down and move this capsule. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show this happening over the network because remember that our network view is viewing the capsule transform. So if I press build, I'm going to build this to my demo. So build and run. Okay, so let me pop this over here, and let's run, open this up. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to host on this uh, on my machine over here, or I can host over here, I guess. Uh, let's just host over here. So I'm going to host here, and I'm going to connect over here. Now, if I press up and down. You'll notice that when I move it on this side, it moves on this side. It's a little jaggy, but we'll go over linear interpolation of the network later. Uh, but what you will notice, if, if I move it on this one, it's not going to move on the host because the host owns this object. Any, scene, any objects in the scene with a network view on creation of the scene, the server owns. And if the server owns it, the server controls its position. So if I move this guy up and I move it down the server, he's going to snap to wherever it is on the server. Now, reliable delta compressed is called delta compressed because it does not send needless information. So, uh, for example, see how I move this, how it's not snapping back to where the server is? Well, the server hasn't updated it, so it's not going to send that update across the network to this guy. Until he makes that update, it won't send. So that's what's really cool about reliable delta compressed is it's not constantly sending information over the network. It's only sending the changes. So that is a quick overview of the network view. It's going to be one of our key components, one of our most important components uh, that we use when we network inside of Unity. So uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.